This one's for all the fast LED guys out there, like these little light strips I've been playing with. I've been kind of an insomniac this weekend, last weekend, I haven't been getting much sleep, and it's kind of hard to work on videos when you're not getting much sleep. But I wanted to get a video done this weekend regardless, and I had an idea for a real quick, easy video. Somebody asked for help because they were trying to add my example code to uh, another sketch a while back. I thought the, the code that he was playing around with was pretty cool though, so I wanted to show it to you guys so you guys can tinker around with it, and especially if you're getting kind of familiar with the, the fast LED library, this code kind of uses some of the deeper functions of the fast LED library. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick and that way you can check it out and play with it yourself. Let's take a look. This uh, sketch this guy was messing around with is called a Demo Real, Demo Real 100. But it's just uh, 100 lines of code, I guess, that cycles through some of the things you can do with the fast LED library. And, Kind of shows you how you can use some of the functions in the fast LED library to do some things. And uh, it's really good if you want to play around some more and get more uh, experience with the fast LED library. You can check out some of these example codes, how they're doing some things. So he tried to add the breathing effect from my fast LED tutorial into this code sketch. And to do that, we just... Oh, where is it? Added the breathing effect... We just added a function called a breathe, or I did. I don't know what he would he he did exactly. I kind of replicated what he was having trouble with, but uh, yeah, he added the breathe effect into this code. And what would happen is the code would go through all of its patterns, but when it would get to the breathe pattern, it would the light strip would just stop working. It would turn off, and it wouldn't do anything. Uh, the way I did this breathe pattern is I messed with the global brightness setting in the code. And when it goes through the, the function, the last thing it does is it turns the brightness down. And since that's a universal global brightness setting, it just leaves the, the brightness setting at zero. So it's still going through all of the code, the other examples, but you can't see it because we turned the lights off. Hmm. <coughs> Where is it? There's a function in here that cycles through all the different patterns. It's uh, called next pattern here. And to fix this issue, uh, you just put it in, put in uh, fast LED dot set brightness, brightness. And remember this brightness setting is our 90 value that we set, or 93, I think, 96, that we set up at the top of the sketch here. But uh, yeah, so basically what that does, every, Every pattern that it goes through, it goes and resets that brightness value back to 96. So there might be a more efficient way of doing it, but you know, that got the job done. It just set reset our brightness setting back to our default 96 value at the beginning of every light pattern that it goes through. But uh, yeah, the main, the main point of this was just to point out this really cool uh, demo reel 100 sketch because it's got some really cool patterns in here. Uh, but yeah, you can check them out and maybe I'll make a, add it to my fast LED examples uh, playlist of all the, the different examples that I made a playlist about and whatever. But yeah, check it out guys. It's a pretty cool sketch. See you next time. This is Live Me Lighting, bringing a little insomnia into my life. Pew! Lightning bolts, I need a jolt. I'm too sleepy, I can't work right. Okay, how do we turn all the cameras off?